Hi, this is Chris Heiser from Internet 2 and University of Pennsylvania. And this is Grouper Training, the Admin Track, the Grouper Loader Part 2. We'll introduce the Grouper Loader again. Um, part 1 talked about configuring running the various job types of a loader in SQL jobs. And this is Part 2. We're going to talk about um, LDAP, uh, loading a simple LDAP group, um, LDAP group of groups and LDAP group from attributes and a little bit about logging. So um, the grouper loader is part of the um, grouper API and it reads from systems of record in this case from LDAP um, which could be your identity management system or a different LDAP and it'll keep groups in sync with uh, data in LDAP. So we'll do a simple LDAP job we're going to start out by configuring the grouper-loader.properties, if you don't have this already, to put a um, LDAP connection. And there are a lot of settings you can set, but basically you need the URL, and if it's authenticated, you need a user and a password. This is the grouper loader LDAP wiki page, and we are going to do some of the examples on this wiki page. Um, so in this case, I'm connecting to our LDAP server, and I'm going to have some a uh, custom source that has the users that are returned from the LDAP, and um, this is how that is created. And then in the um, once that's done, I can run these GSH commands to configure the. Um, uh, LDAP group. I'm going to configure the simple job in the UI. And basically I'm going to go to the light UI and assign some attributes. The SQL loader um, can use the old style group attributes, but the LDAP loader only uses the new ones. So I'm going to manage attributes, assign attributes, I'm going to filter by group, and I'm going to assign the LDAP attribute to a group in grouper. After that's assigned, I can add metadata on that assignment, which basically means that the LDAP attribute is just a marker on the group, and it has some information about that assignment. So I can put a server ID in here. And then after I assign that attribute, I can add a value to it. And this value needs to match whatever I have in grouper loader.properties. Personal dot. and then I can go and add the rest of the attributes for this job. And once I've done that, um, you can see all the settings for this loader job. This is the group. It's a grouper loader job. This is the filter. And basically this filter um, needs to return data from LDAP. So when I run this filter, I get these two groups back, and these two groups have a um, has member inside. Um, this is the LDAP connection. This is the source where the data comes from, um, the subject source. This is the type of LDAP job. It's just a simple one that's going to manage one group. This is the base DN for LDAP. The um, data that comes back is the subject identifier, which is our net ID. Um, this is going to run basically every minute, and I'm going to look for the has member attribute in LDAP to get the subject identifier. So if I look at this group, 
in grouper, you can go back to the admin UI. Um, after the loader runs, it's going to um, um, create these members from uh, LDAP. And if I deleted one of these and ran the job again, it would um, add it again. So again, this is the filter that returns the groups. Now we're going to do an LDAP group of groups job where the multiple objects returned from LDAP represent a group and they each have a list of members. So for example, you could have a filter that returns groups from LDAP and they each have has member. So this is going to be an example from the wiki and you can copy and paste the GSH and actually just the part before it runs the job and you can put that into a script and we can call it group of groups .gsh. and now I can run gsh with the argument of that script name and that will create the group that um, manages this job and assigns all the attributes and that group name was another group group list LDAP group so now I can look in the UI and and I can see this group I can look at the attributes for it and basically this one has the same filter it's a different um, grouper loader type and basically um, the group name is going to be in the group stem and just get the CN of the returned group object and we need to return the CN for the group object as an extra attribute this is the base DN, it runs every minute in this case although you'll probably run it less frequently and the has member is where you're going to get the subject attribute name and it's a subject identifier so as soon as I run this job I'll just kick it off manually from GSH First I'll start a root session, then I'll find the group, then I'll call loader run one job, and this inserted five memberships. Um, if I go to the UI again, I'll see there's now a folder called groups, and underneath it um, based on the CN that was returned, uh, there's test S group and LDAP S didn't just one. And if you look at each one of these, it'll have the same. Now we're going to do LDAP groups from attribute value, which also manages multiple groups in grouper from one uh, LDAP job. Um, but basically the objects that are returned from group are represent the users and each one has an attribute whose value will represent the group. So for example you might have a filter that returns users and they each have um, affiliations or member of etc. And in my lab we don't have it set up that way for security reasons so that um, we can control which users can um, read which groups. But we can, we can simulate it. So what we're going to do is run this GSH script up to there and that's basically in the groups for attributes GSH and get out of this shell window and I'll add as an argument C colon temp groups from attributes and run that and that will create this group job and 
all the attributes to configure it. And we'll search for the group. And I'll kick off the job. Um, basically, this job will run the same filter well, a similar filter and it'll get back some groups so these groups have a has member um, and we're going to use the has member to make groups and assign these to them so it's sort of backwards but it'll still work um, if we look at the UI now We created groups whose names are the has members, and each one of these has the group added to them. So you can picture it the other way around if your LDAP has users with has member, or with a member of, sorry. So let's delete one of these groups. So for logging in the loader, each job is logged to the grouper loader log table. So if you look at that table and sort by started time, um, you'll see this is the job that just ran, and then there'll be a sub job for each group that was um, managed. And you can see how many um, inserts for each one's update or deletes and uh, total membership count, etc. Um, you can also set this in the log for JDAP properties. Um, so if you set this to info or debug, and then you run the job again, start a session, we'll find that group. And we'll run the job. And since I deleted that one group, it's going to create it again. And we'll see in the logs. Yet another stem, process two records, total membership count inserts, deletes, etc. Click on the quiz link in the video description to reinforce your knowledge of this topic. And click on any of these links for more information. Thank you very much.